A school led by Britain's so-called strictest head teacher, Catherine Burble Singh, is being challenged in the High Court over a policy banning prayer rituals. Michaela Community School in northwest London has been taken to court by one of its Muslim pupils who claims the ban is discriminatory. She said it changed how she felt about being a Muslim in the UK, leaving her feeling guilty and unhappy. But Burbal Singh is sticking to her guns by saying multiculturalism can only succeed when every group makes sacrifices for the sake of the whole. She said the decision to stop the prayer rituals was taken against a backdrop of events including violence, intimidation and an appalling racial harassment of our teachers adding that the decision to ban prayer rituals has restored calm and order to the school. Well, the first thing to point out is that every parent who enrols their child at Michaela, which is a state school in a very tough part mm. of London, which achieves outstanding results, it's outstanding Ofsted ranked, it achieves among the best results in the country in terms of uh, the improvement of the level of attainment when pupils come in and the level when they leave, every parent knows that Michaela School does not allow prayers and does not have a prayer room, which some other schools do. And this is all part of Catherine Burbel Singh's efforts to create a cohesive school community in a very, very diverse area. It's an absolute melting pot, that area, a, a complete recipe for trouble. And she has a very, very strong philosophy uh, where there are extremely clear values at the school, very strict routines and a zero tolerance attitude to indiscipline. And her methods get brilliant results and her pupils, by and large, absolutely love being there and the results speak for themselves. Uh, you might think that this would make her a heroine of the teaching establishment, uh, that other teachers would look up to her and see her as a source of inspiration. Unfortunately, she is relentlessly persecuted, which I think is utterly disgraceful. Persecuted by other teachers? She's, I mean, she suffers an endless campaign of mm. trolling on social media, um, you know, vested interest, trying to harness the institutions of the state, uh, also the courts, to hound <coughs> her out of a job. But what, um, I mean, I'm a great admirer of her, and you're right, she really does deliver results. But the genuine question to unpack is why, why having a prayer room is divisive in a school with many different religions? I mean, to play devil's advocate, mm -hmm. uh, nicking your argument, David, to a certain extent, is if you banned a Christian service in the morning, wouldn't the papers that are quite rightly perhaps defending Catherine Burble Singh now uh, be saying this is an outrage and attack on Christianity? Well, um, to answer your question, the reason that she banned it is because it literally results in half the pupils or a significant number, half the pupils at Michaela are Muslim. It doesn't mean they all go and follow prayers at that particular time of day when they're required to by their faith. Uh, but half, a significant portion of them were going off to a separate part of the school, and that is divisive. So I don't. You make an interesting point, um, but in a Church of England school, of course, everyone knows it's a Church of yeah. England school. When they enrol, everybody is part of the Church of England uh, led assembly. So it's not like a section of the pupils go off and do their praying to to mm -hmm. God. Uh, whereas in this case, a section of pupils go off and do something different. And I assume that the parents signed up to this when absolutely. they rolled their yeah, kids absolutely. in that school. So they knew yeah. her job is to protect the children, to get the best education. Which and she the does. governors are there to do yeah. exactly the same. And she's not banning religion, is she? She's banning the idea that you can wander off and, and have these separate prayer sessions. So yeah, I no, think she's interesting. Absolutely and there's right. a wider debate about the role of faith in schools because obviously mm. we all support. Uh, Christian schools, Church of England schools and Catholic schools have this kind of place in our education system where people think of them as more rigorous academically and so on. But they do end up with this bizarre situation. I remember when my kids were ready to go to primary school, all the other parents suddenly, you know, had been going to church yeah. for five years. <laughs> Pretending yeah. Got their be... kid in the Church of England primary school, didn't <laughs> see them for dust. Mm. And that is a very yeah. artificial way yes. yeah. of separating parents and forcing them uh, you know, seeing which ones can get their kid into it's, the best school. It's interesting, you know, if you look at places like France, where any religion in the school is, yes. is constitutionally banned, yes. it's yeah. not allowed, you know, it's and a in secular... America, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah, it's a sec secular society and secular education system. You know, do we want to go down that route? Because as you've just said, it, some of the religious schools, the faith schools, are very, very popular and yeah. they tend to get good results. But, yeah. mm. but is it divisive? Doesn't as you it were come saying? down to what you sign up for? I mean, if a school is a Church of England school, it does what it says on the tin, or you hope it does. Um, if it's Michaela, you know when you sign up that this is what you are getting. And um, that was the point I was making. If you don't like it, you signed up to it, you leave. But I thought that part of the problem with this was that she'd brought in the ban on, on prayer. And the, it, it wasn't initially prayer so, was banned fully. I thought this is something she's, she'd like introduced last year. So it didn't have a prayer. It's never had, as far as I know, a dedicated prayer room. One of the... I visited Michaela. I actually wanted to send one of my children Yes, I visited there. it as well. Um, Very sadly, impressive. wasn't able to persuade my son. But I, I am wowed by her mm. and by what she achieves. Um, but that premises is not swanky. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a shabby yeah. building yeah. in a very downtrodden area, and they don't have much room for anything. Um, so what was happening is that pupils were making a great song and a dance yeah. of praying in the playground on their anoraks. And it was, you know, it clearly... Look, let's yeah. not beat about the bush here. This is highly political. That's what's going on here. Yeah. And I'm sorry, it's a school, not a mosque. Mm. Yeah. No, well, I think I think that is um, a, a very good point. It's just it's just interesting, isn't it? Where do we where does the whole education system go? Because that that's the sort of overarching issue. And also the fact that she desperately didn't want this case to be held in public because she's been saying she, she's been getting she death threats and so genuinely on. genuinely afraid for her life because there are nutters out there yeah. who would like nothing better than to see her properly suffer um, for the principles that she stands on. Yeah.